Welcome to module three. We're ready to start inside module three. So module three is just going to be where we set up the basics for NGRX. We'll be pulling in a bunch of libraries that NGRX gives us. We'll be checking out or creating our first action, reducer, selector. We'll even create our first effect throughout this module. So the section we'll be working inside of, if you go to the green button down here on the bottom right, click on that, we'll be working within the customer support form. Now this form doesn't have any form validation. What we're gonna be doing is we'll give errors or success messaging depending on what we send it. So let's open up our debugger tool and we'll go into dev tools and then you see this Redux button here? We'll be setting this up throughout this module as well. So let's try submitting this form without adding anything into the form. And here we're getting an error because we didn't add any information to the form. And then if we look at the first action that was dispatched, we'll be setting this up throughout this module, this action here. We look at our customer support feature we have inside the store, and we have no information within our store. We look at the second action that was dispatched, and this is after we talked to the back end. There was a failure, so we got back false. So we were not successful at dealing with the back end, and that's why this error is showing up here. Now you could always clear out the form by clicking on this X button. When you click on this X button, it's gonna wipe out everything inside the store. So we'll dispatch another action for that. So let's try that. And here's the action we dispatched to clear the form. And as you can see here, we wiped out the form. Now let's send in some valid information. So I'll send in a username and it'll be Bob. I'll send that in. We dispatch our first action. We add the user's name to the store. The second action deals with the back end and we were successful, so it's true, and we got a nice success message here. Again, we could always clear it out at any time. So that's what we'll be working on throughout this module. Let's find the commit number for the beginning of this module. If you are following along within the GitHub project and you would like to start at the beginning of module three, you'll find that at video seven. So if we go to commits, and then we'll have to go all the way back to the beginning, all the way back to video seven begin. That's the commit you're looking for. Let's copy that commit number. And back inside of our project, we'll open up a new terminal. Then we wanna check out that branch we just copied. So git checkout and paste in that commit number. And this should send you back to the beginning of module three. If we check it out in the browser again, and then if we go back to the homepage, Open up module three and all you should see is video seven and you're all set to go. Also, if you open up the debugger tool now, the store no longer exists. The reason is, is we have to set that up within module three. So you're all set and ready to go. Now in video seven, let's begin setting up our store and we'll do that next. 